Hey everybody, we're back again. That's right, more Chuck's Raw Reviews. What are we doing today? That's a great question. We're not really, I mean, we're doing one book, but we're not. We're kind of doing five books. I sort of done this before, but we're going to do it again. Today, Harlan Buck, Free Sword. Honestly, I'm geeking out on this one a fair amount. I really do. Uh, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I'm buddies with the writer-creator. He is a great guy. I like him a lot. What I say here, though, is honestly how I feel. And I'm, I'm like, just being open and honest with you guys because I want it I want it out there right away because people go, like, oh, well, you, you talk with Scott a fair amount. Yes, I do. We get along. We like a lot of the same stuff. And we do chat about this book. But we chat about this book is I fucking like this book. So I love to talk about his process and what goes into stuff and where I think he went right. And you know what? He and I have even talked about stuff where it's like, oh, that's a small misstep. Well, it happens. Whatever. But there's not a lot. So first, like, let me let me show you the rest. It's the raw reviews, right? So we don't put any graphics or anything because fuck that. That's boring. And that's work that I don't want to do. Thanks. Um, uh, so I have two, three, and four here. Where's one? That's a really good question. One, my wife has issue one. Let that sink in. My wife has issue one. Yeah, my family actually really likes this series. A lot. As do I. So, in case you, I don't know, you have mental issues or you're cheap or I'm not really sure what a good excuse is, if you don't know about Harlan Buck, Harlan Buck is a fantasy story. Um, it's set, I don't really know the name of the world, to be quite honest with you. But uh, it, it's set in um, Scott's own world. Um, he has, so one of the things I really like about this series a lot is that his his crew is his crew. Like, he did have a different colorist um, early on, but he uh, he's always had the, the same... Um, editor, uh, which his wife is assistant editor and helps with uh, storyboards and all that kind of stuff. Um, his uh, artist, Dino, who is, I mean, just it's like, come on guys, seriously, like, just look at some of this work. Dude is fucking on point. And uh, so it's cool to see a series, it's on its, its fifth issue already in like, I don't even think two years. So to see that happening, it's a big deal, especially in indie comics, to see that happening. So you know that, and, and I know, I can tell you just from knowing the dude, these guys are in it for the long haul. They want to keep going with this. So that, that already makes me feel good. Um, even being a guy who's about to release his own number one, every time I see a number one, I'm like, oh, well, I see a number two, not an issue as I hold the issue. <laughs> it's really like you're you're gonna keep seeing issues. I know that he's talking to me. He he discusses like issue eight, and he I think he's working. And this book just came out. Like I bought this the second I could, and let that one sink into you too. As soon as it went on sale, I bought it. So uh, I'm a fan. I'm not just like I'm gonna support this guy because it's nice. No, I'm, f I'm fucking poor. I'm not gonna do that. Um, you know, now and then it's nice to support and, and help someone out, but I'm not going to buy five fucking issues of something if it sucks. Sorry, I'm, I'm gone after one. I might look at two if it's, like, passable, but not, not likely. So five, Chucky ain't buying five issues if it's not good. So here we go. Uh, Harlem Buck Free Sword. It is about Harlem Buck, <laughs> who is a free sword. He's, he's a mercenary of sorts. And so that that is his life. Like he he holds the term free sword as a badge. It is it is what he does, who he is, and and that means so much to him. It, it's it's a life that he feels he can't escape. That's that's who he is. And and so much of that goes into that, uh, into this actually like this specific issue. Uh, I think what I love most about this issue is its subtleties. Now, if you just, if, if, if I gave you issue five and you just read it, it's self-contained. You'll enjoy it. You really will. And if I give you pretty much all of these, uh, issues one and two were a continuation of one another, so you do need both. Um, but 
but uh, excuse me. But the rest of them are all self-contained issues. He um, he holds enough that that it's nice to get the whole story, but you don't have to. I'm a completionist. I have to. Like it's just it's it's a compulsion with me. I have to have it. So I went out and I bought all five. Um, and so what I was talking about earlier is the subtleties of his writing. I really appreciate a lot. I love um, very early on we have this very tender beautiful moment with his favorite and only whore I mean I mean it's the only way about it she she works in a, in a, a bordello and uh, she uh, yep yeah, she sells herself and you know it, that that is what it is and it happens and there's no judgment but th they're them together this isn't a whore and a john you know what i mean like certainly there's moments where you're like oh yeah but like really the, these moments the, this isn't just the, the, there's more to it there and and so the subtleties of that story the, the beauty of it and and uh, so much of that comes out in this issue and i love and there really is just a lot of of uh, really good storytelling in this issue even like um and yet it's not he can do epic but that's not necessarily what Harlan Buck is about Harlan Buck is probably you know not in the in the near future anyways he's not gonna be at the front of some huge army attacking dragons and and knocking back spells and shit no he he's He's a dude, you, you need someone dead? All right, where's the money? Okay, I'm going to go do it. And he's going to go fucking do it. So, um, the story's pretty simple, actually. Uh, somebody decides to talk some shit in the bar. Harlan repeatedly says no. And then, when dude won't fuck off, Harlan kicks his ass. Harlan is smart, doesn't even pull out his, his sword. He says, no, it's not worth it. And the sword... The sword has excited me from day one. It's called a merit sword, I believe. And you see it right here, pulled out. Now, in any other comic, fantasy comic, you see a sword pulled out, you're like, yeah, good for you. No, no, he doesn't pull out that sword. This sword means the world to him. We're not 100% sure why, and we're told very quickly, I believe it's in issue one, that's an important sword, he doesn't use it. He usually beats your ass with a club, or just fucking knocks you out. If he pulls out the sword, he's gonna kill you. It, they're just, uh, that's just the way it is. It, it's it, it's a last ditch. It's not even about last ditch effort. It's, okay, you forced me into this. I have to do this. And it is gonna do the job. And it always does. So, seeing him with the sword out right away got me excited. I went, oh, crap. Cool, we get to learn a little bit more about the sword. And he didn't go deep into it, but again, it's like, I'm peeling, it's an onion, I'm peeling back the layers. And for just a sword to have layers, to be able to slowly see that, it's exciting, it's tantalizing. If he just peeled it back and said, yep, now I'm, so that's what it is, I got it from a magical priest and blah, 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 I'd be like, okay, well, now it doesn't mean shit. <laughs> so when I finally do, we get to like, I don't know, issue 10, issue 12, issue 25, I, I have no idea. He hasn't discussed that thoroughly with me. When we get to that point, it will have been worth it. You know, we will have been able to see all of that and why it mattered and and, and really felt... Uh, we, you, you get it, it's much more subtle. He's not going to tell you how important the sword is. You're going to feel it. He's not going to tell you how important Lily, this woman, is to him. You're going to feel it. That's good storytelling, people. For you writers out there who are like... My character feels like this. Shut up. Read Harlan Book. Read stuff like this. Don't tell me how your character feels. Show me. Make me tell you. Oh, damn. He feels this way. That's This is just good writing. This is how it happens. And honestly, cause this isn't a complex story. Like Really, when you put it down to it, you can explain this story in two sentences. Harlan's at the bar with a, a beautiful woman. He, that's a comma, so we're still on the first sentence. Harlan's at the bar with a beautiful woman and is attacked by another man. Sentence two, 
He kicks that dude's ass. Dude comes back with friends who force Harlan to fucking kill them. Does he kill all of them? How does that go? Ah, you'll read it yourself. You'll find out. It doesn't matter. Chill. But, I mean, yeah, it can be brought out in two sentences. But the subtleties, the beauty, all of this, it's in here. And it's in these, too. Like, all of these make this even better. Which means that when I put this down and I put it with the rest of them, and I buy six, because, by the way, I'm fucking buying six, when I get that, it, it, all of that will make six even better. But again, I won't need them. You probably won't need them either. If you just decide, I'm going to get six, what, whatever that ends up being. I believe that's coming out, um, I believe that's going to be the fall edition. I think this is the summer. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, yeah, summer 2018. So that should come out in the fall, which again, he, he's coming out quarterly. That's huge, especially for Indy. Um... So when, when that comes out, you don't need these issues, but you're going to want them. It adds to it. So I'm pretty much going to sign off now. I think I've ranted long enough. Uh, I love doing these because I, 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 I don't even think ahead about what I'm going to do. I grab the book, I put it down, and I go, what did this book say, say to me? And I talk for 10 minutes on how much I enjoyed this book or, or how much you will enjoy this book depending on the audience you for this book can be almost anyone i don't think you need to be a fantasy person because they don't go way into stuff they're not talking about elves and fairies and all this kind of stuff it's just normal people doing normal shit and trying to get through their lives but there's so much more there's so much subtlety and beauty the subtlety is in the writing the subtlety is in the art it's in the color it's in all of it it's all there but it's also in your face. So guys, go out, pick up Harlan Buck, free sword, tell him Chuck sent you. Um, I don't think that'll get me a discount, but if it does, hey, thanks. <laughs> Seriously, guys, pick this up. You won't, you, you won't regret it at all. And as always, peace, love, and comments.